Sunday morning in Vista, California, and a scene you'd be unlikely to come across in rural England. The whole town's been closed off to make way for off-road day, and some of the weirdest machines I've ever seen either on or off the road. In Southern California, the automobile's so close to people's hearts that the whole family, in fact the whole town, turns out for an event like this. Our nearest equivalent would be the village fair or the church fete. But when it comes to being California car crazy, we Brits have a long way to go. All the way to California, anyway. When it comes to wacky, we may be no match for the locals, but for people watchers on holiday, I reckon this is a cheaper and more fascinating day out than a theme park. In fact, for motor buffs everywhere, it can be quite an education. Off-roading here isn't just 4x4s in a field, it's rock buggies, swamp buggies, dune buggies, sand rails, quad bikes, midget racers and monster trucks. The only thing that isn't here is a muddy Land Rover. There was one all-American muddy Jeep though. What does mud bog competition Mud involve? bog is just nothing but high torque and mud and if you can get whoever gets through the mud the fastest, they, they're the winner. Where have you been in this? Out in the desert near here? I hit like every mud puddle I could from here till the show. If you see them shiny, you know, that's not the way Jeep was made. Jeep didn't, it stands for dirt, mud. Others would disagree. The paint jobs on some of the machinery would have been wasted under all that mud and slime. Gary, these quads are beautiful. How long did it take to build one? This one here took about uh, 30 days. Uh-huh. And what, were the, the, what was the money involved? Uh, this one here with the big motor is about uh, 9000 dollars in US dollars. They bring me a bike brand new or used, take it all the way down, take every nut and bolt off, chrome every nut and bolt, powder paint the frame, the plastics, build the motor, uh, big motor. Yeah. yeah. What's the power of the motor and oh, what sort of speed can it do? About uh, 80 horsepower and in a quarter mile you can get up to about probably 130, 120 miles an hour.